does. But also, that is, he has no escape. So bad. Okay, are we ready to go? Nope, because we only have half of Dylan. Yeah, you cut me off the, before. Well, it doesn't matter because the way your door is open, you're going to have this really bright light behind your head anyway. Well, you could just scoot a little closer. You could scoot a little closer to your mic. <laughs> Check 95 with another Mic Check Productions Mic Check Movie Review. Of course, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it with your friends as we are continuing our grandest journey with this series. That's very confusing. Of course, I am with my cohorts. Your boy. And uh, we have finally reached the halfway point of this series, which I'm glad there's only six instead of 12 of these movies, unlike the last series we followed. Resident Evil Extinction. This is probably the first film that none of us have seen from start to finish. I have not seen yes. this film beforehand. So we all went in blind. I don't know where to start. I guess yeah. we'll, we'll ha we can have science time with Josh, if I can get those real quick, or Gregor, as I'm talking halfway across the room, so, can do other stuff too. So, <laughs> one thing I was saying earlier on the previous movies is, when does this get good? Uh, we have hit that mm. point. We're, no, we're not at that point, but we're steering in the direction of that point. Um, this movie had a lot better things, but it also had a lot worse things too. The, they're doing a running theme of like, nobody can be around this chick. Yeah. I was actually surprised with this movie because I was like, wow, a male character survived more than one movie with this lady. But then, then he died, so. And he was like my favorite thing about the last movie. Um, CGI is a big negative for this one. Um, is it any better than the last two? Or is it about the same? That's the question. Uh, it's, it's, yeah. it's, it's the same. It's about the same. Um, the makeup was better. Uh, the fight scenes were better. Um, still not good. Better. Um, it actually had a story that was actually... The camera quality seemed to improve. Um, all three of these films have had a story. The first one was terrible. The second one actually kind of mm -hmm. had a story. Um, the first one seemed super unnecessary. Um, the second one, one just seems like an overkill for a simple fight scene. Yeah. For the sto from the story. It's like, oh, we're just going to destroy all the, the planet. The second one's like a glorified music video. <laughs> it's, the it's the like, first and second ones both had moments... That where I thought to myself, why am I watching this movie? Um, this is a waste of time. I did not think that on this film. I just thought that the CGI took away from the film and made it bad for me. There was a lot of points I was just like, mm. um, if they would have choreographed some stuff better, and they would have also, I, I kind of chuckled a little bit towards the end of the movie, whenever um, the super smart scientist guy, uh, the, they're like, Isaac. Isaac, yeah, Isaac. They're, they're, well, I was saying more that. He's supposed to be a super smart scientist guy, um, but he's hiding in a tent next to this big project thing. I was like, oh, well, he's not going to be hiding in that tent there. <laughs> There's just no way he'd be that stupid. <laughs> and then she just bursts in there and fucks them all up. <laughs> like, I, I was like, okay, even after she killed the first two, I was like, okay, well, he's going to be smart like his bosses were, and that's probably just a hologram, and he was just, he was just watching from afar like a smart person would do. Nope. He keeps her like, hey, be careful, she's gonna get in. And I'm like, well, also, he's like, I can watch from oh. anywhere in the country, anywhere on the planet with satellites. I'm gonna physically be there. And hide in a fucking tent on a roof. Yeah, he has to use the satellite to jam and stop her, but he couldn't just, like, they turn, like, a little from, laser pointer thing at her. Zoop. They could have done that from the base, but he was like, we gotta go. We gotta go there. I gotta stretch my legs. Maybe we can find McDonald's on the way. It's and it wasn't like it was that far away either. <laughs> <laughs> Overall, for me, there's good parts.
aren't some bad parts. Um, it's improving. My last rating for awful. Um, I'm going to give this one a little bit better one. I'm going to give it a 5.2. That means it. That means it is almost not bad. Almost not bad. That's my. That's my review. We have the same gobbledygook, whatever. Their ability to clone in this movie is ridiculous, based on their previous abilities to not be able to do such things. There's a lot of what I consider inconsistencies. It's just too much to think about sometimes. Um, I'm just going to go straight for the, the st most stupid thing they said in the entire thing. It's one of the reasons this one I feel is a little stupider science-wise than the rest. And then as they said right at the beginning, oh, yeah, these things, they can still live for like decades without feeding at all on a desert planet, which is what the planet's like right now. Which makes absolutely no sense because they don't understand how cells work that or that how else, energy works. That also they can't. contradicts what was said in the first film, too. Yes. The science doesn't make sense in Resident Evil, and I feel like that's part of the reason why I don't like the Resident Evil series is because mm -hmm. a lot of times their logic isn't very sound. And I'm just yeah. like, what's going on? How is this happening? Is it supernatural or is it science? So far, based off of a series, like as this series alone, it has already had one contradiction is about like the zombies can last for decades versus... What they said in the first film, they had a certain time span, I think, of what they said. Another thing, it seemed like, the first movie, we're going to take her really, really far to Raccoon City, when it's supposed to literally be right above the dang thing. And I'm assuming all of the world is desert because of the animals also got infected, and that, and a lot, I'm assuming, fucked up ecosystems, mm -hmm. and... Global warming. Well, viruses can affect plants as well, so... Yeah. But That's is the entire world sand everywhere? I yes. think it was just like that in that there section of the world. Okay. Well, they were saying they they showed huge portions of the planet being like that. Oh, yeah, and huge the, portions of the planet are already dead. Massive drought and everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ballistics. How did the guns work in this movie? Because it's, once again, we're going to use guns versus zombies, which is really weird. Because the last movie, it was like we're going to try guns, but we're going to do a bunch of kung fu. This one, we're going to do a little more guns, less kung fu, and blades, and blades. Um, I'm glad that they introduced the birds as zombies. You don't see a lot of mm, yeah, yeah, zombies. Yeah. They don't have a, other wildlife other than like even dogs there were, or bears sometimes. Well, they brought the dogs back. Some Same of the, dogs. Some of the no new the, dogs. Some of the bits in the scene, the uh, scene with the birds, like like the way it looked, does looked he, dumb. This, but this, yeah, was just awful. the idea of it was kind of interesting and new. Also, yeah. when you looked at the when it scanned over zombies, the zombies looked naked and they looked super skinny with big heads like aliens. But when you looked at any of the zombies, they looked rather plump and fully clothed. Which made no sense, because that was an inconsistency, I noticed. Uh, bullets. They actually run out of them in this movie. Unlike other movies. <laughs> I think that's why Alice stuck to the blade for most of the film. Also, they did a lot of really bad shooting in this movie. Like, the girl had like an Blair. entire rifle, and she there was three zombies, and it, or four zombies, and it took her like 18 shots to kill two of them. Yeah. Well, okay, <laughs> that, that, I think the only way, I think that was because that form of zombie they were fighting, that was the genetically, like, mutated version well, she didn't of know the original that. zombie. Um, she didn't from, shoot him in the head, she just I mean, shot him in the shoulder. She didn't know that, but I'm then saying... She should aim for the head. She didn't hit any of them in the head. Um, also, it's that, that aim was a complete that waste, because the whole point of that was for them to have, uh, they, uh, to relearn behaviors and be able to be smarter, mm -hmm. right? But they didn't really use it. They didn't yep. seem like super smart zombies, other than yep. that, right there, she missed a bunch, and it didn't kill them. Yep. First headshot killed them. They did I seem more see, active. They ran faster, they seemed a little bit, they, they actually ran, they seemed a little bit stronger. They could rip things off things, they, they were just like, like, it seemed like it was going to be the like birds were a smart. deal for that, but then it wasn't. Yeah. So, I don't know. They were like the running version of them, I think. And, and, this, and that scene specifically, when she was like walking at her and shooting, at, shooting those zombies, and then they ended with a really bad scream thing. Um, that was supposed to be like a really impactful emotional scene. And it fell and flat. <laughs> it felt terrible. It was a complete miss. To cap it off, the final awfulness was the, the scream, bad cut, not even let it finish out, go to the next scene. Hey, the black guy, he, he may have turned into a zombie, but he did kill some zombies beforehand. So, I mean, hey, hey. Yeah, Rip from Mike Epps. Mm -hmm. Yeah, also like... If you think about it right now, other than that one girl and the young girl, all the other adults are dead. Claire and Kmart. And what the hell happened to the, the, the emo chick from the last one? 
Yeah, she, yeah what happened to her? It's a time skip. Didn't even say nothing uh, about her. Jill? Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that, that, I noticed that too, and I was trying to, like, listen to what they're, anything at all, and they didn't really say what happened to Jill, so we either are going to assume that Jill Valentine in this series is dead and or I'm going to assume she's not all. dead, because at one point in the movie, they said that uh, whenever they were talking about how um, Alice was avoiding the satellites for years, so years have passed. Anything can happen. The group could have got split up. I bet you they got split up. And she didn't exactly seem like a team player. Mm-hmm. So if I know anything, I bet you she went off on her own. If it took years, how long did it take them to go from like, oh, we fully regenerated this girl to, oh, we've managed to clone so many of her. It was like, like, how, yeah. like if you had five years, if you could take her from like completely dead to back alive or like... How long did it, like, didn't even take a couple months to go from, this guy gets bit, to, we've concretely created this controlled monster and put computers in her brain, right? To, oh, we can't find her and we can't find a cure. Five years, when the super high-tech craziness they came up with was like in five months? See, well, the clones were years. That's, that's bad, that's bad writing. The clones were years If ago. it takes six months, it should take, that's why it shouldn't take years. If it took months? No, it took years. There's years also, if it months. took years, why did they only have, like, 16 bodies in that ditch. Well, it probably took a long time to develop that technology. Well, they actually... No, because it only took them five months to do the rest of they, this. They, they said Full cybernetics. They said there are 84 or 80, 85 other copies around there. So you can assume that, that if... How, however long it takes to incubate. I'm assuming they recently finished it. So it's been years, but it probably took years to develop it. Let's say three years have passed... I'd say two and a half years probably spent developing it, and then there's probably an incubation period for it. But they didn't do anything for two years? They were trying to figure out how to do I that. Mean, they, the, the and cure. they were probably looking forward to it. Obviously, Alice could do it in a couple. Like, like the guy was like, oh, we could just do it really quick. Alice was like, I'm coming sooner than that. Like, what? It took him five years. It's like a supercomputer by herself. What I'm saying is it took, her, it took him five years. They had and super... The only way that obviously, the, the young... High, 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 uh, What's her name now? Mama Jr.? The computer. The computer obviously knew how to do it. So why the freak? Um, Wouldn't the computer just do it behind the dude's back? Like Red it did the, the last one. Red Queen's sister? Yeah, Red well, Queen's sister. White it's Queen's. It's an AI, though. White Queen. I think that's her name. I don't know. They, they Pretty sure the AIs are programmed to... Because um... obviously if she knows that what he's doing is bad, then she could just be like, shut down. Throw him in the laser machine. Oh, for sure. <laughs> if she did that, they just... Throw, he, they wouldn't use those AIs. AI is probably a cliche from the video games that they're just putting in the movies for convenient plot. Something they did not do in this movie, they did in the other two, was put a bunch of what seemed like random stuff in there that didn't need to be there. Or like, hey, giant bicycle. Or, hey, she's randomly here. Or, over there to over here. It seemed like it had a cohesive flow. At no point was it just like, hey, we're just going to throw this really random scene that has nothing to do with anything. I don't know what you can I don't have much else to talk about. I know these are going to supposed to be more in-depth than our regular reviews, my good friends on the other end of the camera. But that's that's about it. I must say, I'm going to give this a five. Because, well, not even a five. I'm going to give this a 4.8. It's my final, final offer. I will start off with the budget in the box office and the critics and audience scores before I get into my section of the review. Their budget of this film was $45 million, and they made back $147.7 million. So just about what they did. The uh, critics versus audience scores on Rotten Tomatoes here. Uh, 25% says the critics. Audience says 58%. So this film was... Critically bad. The Very critics bad. gave it a 2.5. I, I would say at this point, this is one of the higher end rated films when it comes to the audience. Because I feel like this one, so the audience has liked it a bit more. So, so, far. so far, as where it's looking at. You know it's bad, though, because when I was on there earlier, I scrolled down to the related movies, and AVP Requiem was right below it. So, obviously, people don't think very highly of it. Ammo. We don't talk about that. Like I said, I've never seen this film before. I did not know what I was going to get into. I feel like, okay, when it comes to connecting the story, uh, the only thing that really didn't really didn't really connect was the whole how long the zombies live uh, thing and whatnot. Um, story-wise, I feel like they, they it's, it's still trying to connect to what happened in the events of the first two, 
but they also I also kind of feel like they pushed the story like years into the future that way if they were to do something new it wouldn't mm -hmm. affect the other movies but at the same time it's going to if you have the same yeah. fucking character well they shut down the city have zombie big blowout monster fights like there's very few movies like that there's like I Am Legend and that's about it but the, the desert zombie hunting thing like that's been of the time in this time and has been on for mm -hmm. years to come it's just that zombies if there's zombies there has to be a desert has to be an apocalypse and now they're gonna by the sounds of it in the next movie um, it's going to be in cold in Alaska if they're going to Alaska yeah, yeah or at least heading so towards they're that going to hit the knows. cliche of going into northern cold weather yeah and the whole we gotta go to a safe place everybody knows an apocalypse there ain't no safe place I'm kind of looking at this like story-wise like written for the most part if you take out the bullshit science stuff that obviously doesn't make any fucking sense mm -hmm. I, think. Yeah. I would say I mean I felt like there was actually to me I felt like there was actually effort put into this movie like it yeah. felt like they actually mm -hmm. fucking tried I didn't have because I didn't have any issues with this one I had a question. that much What's up? unless I missed it in the last one the end of the last one did they not contain the infection they blew it up with the, um... The nuke. The nuke. Okay, how is the entire world affected? Uh, something probably still got out because... So they See, didn't, that's a, they didn't explain none of that. They yeah. did in the end, they, they did in the intro and narration, but in a really loosely well, bad kind of way. No, they just like, hey, the world, well, they how? Well, say... They said, it managed to get out. And it's like, how? Through what? They didn't in what say way? it managed to get out. They're just like, the world is infected. Uh, okay, yeah. how? The whole first two movies were, were literally fucking, hey, let's not get this infection out. And, and then the third one, they're just like, the world's over. It, it, it's fucked. <laughs> like, it, um, it, what would have been good is if since she's infected, if she was out and the infection was contained and then she accidentally infected somebody else mm -hmm. and somehow and then that made it spread, that would have been good. Also, then she would have been all guilty about that made the most way. Also, away. the reason she's still alive is because the zombies don't want to eat her. In the same way, that little girl. Where's the little girl? How come the zombies don't target her? Because they, she's infected, and they don't attack the infected. But she fights them a lot. It seems like they attack her. No, I think she's attacking them because they're... Well, the dogs attack her. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Like, she should not also, have to worry about it. where's the little girl? Oh, yeah. Psych powers just at random able to control oh, an yeah, entire satellite. Oh, yeah, telekinetic powers. I'm just kind of like, where did that come from? And it's like, they, she didn't really have them in the second film. I I feel like... She can fry a nano chip on a satellite no, millions no, of miles away. No, we can't just no, fry anybody no, she wants. No, no, The <sighs> only way that... The only reason why she has those still stupid telekinetic powers is because she got... Kept, she got pretty much taken back into the facility and she got tested on with the T-virus again. Now she has all these stupid abilities that she had at the end of the film. That's how she yeah. killed the guy in the camera room was through telekinetic powers. I don't yeah. know how she saw him through the well, camera. She had super, I don't know. She had super kung fu last time. Oh yeah, that was another thing. Just, oh, I can see the guy through the camera and magically squeeze his head, but now I can't even like, like just do simple stuff. I don't know. Oh, pretty much. I, my, I was saying like I felt like they put more effort into it. I felt like the creative writing aspect of the story was a little bit. It, it actually grabbed my attention a little bit more than the other two films, mainly because it was more like a survival movie with a group of people than it was just. But it was way too little. Whatever of, that. of the other one. There was too much of an intro at the beginning and it ending at the end for it to be I too much of that. I feel like because the they pacing... barely went anywhere. They went one place and that was it. I feel like the pacing of this film was actually a little bit better. It did seem kind of like jumpy here and there, and but it's it still kind of it flew. It was like a river with a couple of like sticks or logs kind of kinking the path a little bit. Like oh, we're flowing through. Oh god, okay, now we're getting through here. That's what it kind of felt like to me when watching the pace of this movie. Let's keep in mind that White Queen had told her Alice's blood is the cure to the virus. Hold on. And then that's it what could be the, synthesized as That's what she said. And then she goes off on this whole I'm gonna go on a killing revenge rampage with all of my sisters and sisters and clones to, at this facility. If they she decide that they she did it. to oh, next fucking week. forget about this whole cure thing in the next m movie or so. We have five hundred thousand ready and a million. 
<laughs> right. You're I would ready? say out of, out of the three, this is my favorite one out of all of them. Uh, I would say this is honestly going to get a... I I'm, I'm thinking of five point six because like it it had it, it has a lot of kinks in it that it needs to iron out, but as just as for what it is, it it's still good. It told the story that it wanted to tell. We are at the halfway point of this godforsaken series. I'm already saying that. <laughs> if we, it didn't take us that long. Don't act like it's killing you, Mike. Yeah, it's not like we're watching Friday the Thirteenth. Or j j uh, uh, no, I only watched like six of them. Wait till we watch Alien and Predator. Nope. I'd give up. We gave up. There's not that many. Again, if you guys enjoyed this this review with our shenanigans and bullshittery, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with your friends if you want them to see the madness as well. And your parents. And yep. the parents too. This is Mark Check 95 along with my cohorts once more. Yo boy making jokes. And Mike Check 95 again. Signing out because. Peace out. Sand. Just remember, that was.